Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We are playing Dawn of Zombie Survival. How are we doing? I hope you guys are all well. So, we're going to go back into the warehouse, which has been a common theme for the last, I don't know, couple of videos actually. And particularly, um, we are just sort of trying to go through the quest line for Luca. And so far, I've sort of gone back into the warehouse a couple of times. To be perfectly honest with you guys, I've actually sort of made a little bit more advancements in between videos. So um, if we stop by home, I, I might sort of show you guys what I was sort of working on. But just to sort of give you guys a bit of an idea, I'm sure, sort of trying to get um, the necessary bolts required for the bicycle. So I'm at 18 bolts, I think. So I need at least 20. And then the spokes are going to represent the, the next challenge for me, which is not going to be as hard as what, uh, what it has been going through the warehouse, you know, on a daily basis. And I sort of worked out a little bit of a, well, I wouldn't say a trick, but when you sort of um, access the basement for the first time during the day, so let's say you do it in the morning, then you've got to wait your eight hours before it resets the path that you take to get the key and which door that you unlock where, where, whether it's the first one uh to the left hand side or if you sort of go further into the map and then unlock the other one there you sort of got to do both of those um so you t it's either that you do one in one run and the other in the other run and i found that you get the bolts and it sort of happened over time um a few times over so i sort of you know make that case where you can actually you know do that and if you keep doing the same pathway so let's say you keep going to the same left hand side one first as soon as you open um, the initial door um, that you may not get the bolts or you're high, highly unlikely that you'll get it again if you do consecutive runs i don't know i just feel like i just sort of had to point that out let me know what you guys think down in the comment section but let's go speak to klim so we've got no more traces of Luca, which is annoying. There's this picture, so he's going to take a look at it. And, okay, where's this taken? Who is she? Uh, had a girlfriend in every settlement. Okay, so Luca was a bit of a player. Um, okay, so it's a strider. The girl finds it romantic. Okay. Um, there's some human blood at schools. Most likely, I can tell. Uh, won't help us to find Luca. Hold up, though. That boy from the shelter. Jewel, is it? He's a sleepwalker, right? Okay, so it looks like we're going to go back to base anyway. And okay, show the picture. Yep. And let's go down there and... Okay. So while you're popping over to the shelter, I'm going to go down there myself to see what's more in the warehouse tricks. Okay. Okay, so we've completed the quest by the looks of things. So we're going to have to go back home and we'll show Jewel, that little kid, and yeah. But before I do that, I'm not going to enter the warehouse. I just want to see what I've got here at the moment. I think I'm comfortable in leaving all that behind. But I do want to grab this, possibly that, and that's for the second. And um, go do some trades. So let's do that. Let's do that. Um, oh, yes, I do have that. Let's go grab that. So, I don't know if I'm wasting resources in grabbing all of this anyway, but I feel like to get the better attitude with the, um, uh, with the trader here, obviously in your best interest to do so here. So, I'm just going to run and drop these things off. And we've got some pretty good weapons, so I'm going to leave that there as well. If I want to sort of come back here and try and do a couple of runs of the um, the warehouse, so yeah. All right, so I'm a little bit low on health anyway. But that doesn't matter. We're gonna go see what Jewel has to say about the photo, and um, hopefully this might extend the quest line. Okay. Uh, okay, so let's run back home, back over to the shelter. I've actually got quite a few boxes that I've started to um, uh, build up. I want to do a little bit of a unboxing video. I'm not too sure if I'm going to do it with today's video yet, um, but we'll see how we go. Um, I might end up dedicating a video just solely to open up some boxes here and there 
Um, I mean, look, granted, it may not be um, a, a decent long video of just opening up boxes, but you know, a little bit nonetheless. Um, okay, so I've got all my boxes over here. And as you can see, I've actually started to um, increase my base presence as well. So I had to be done over time anyway. Um, okay, so yeah, like I said, haven't got a lot of boxes just yet. But as you can see, I'm sort of starting to, you know, build up just a little bit of a, um, um, you know, inventory. So like I said, hopefully I might get some decent items. Hopefully I'll get the spokes as well with some of those. Um, but what I wanted to sort of quickly show you, like I said, 18 bolts, two more away. And then I don't really have to go into the, um, into the warehouse as often as I have been. Um, unfortunately, what happened as well is... I've been leveling up like crazy and not because that I really wanted to but because I've been doing so much um, uh, runs through the warehouse just trying to get all these bolts and doing a couple of other side quests here and there. Um, it's resulted in me leveling up so much that the game's um, overall level has increased along with me. So doing things like the warehouse or going to simple zones require um, a little bit more armor, a little bit um, better weapons and obviously heals in between but in turn your rewards will be a lot better as well so I mean look it's all you know you know so so but what you know what what do you do so <laughs> I, I should have probably started doing that a lot early in game but I really wanted to get a feel for the game as well at the same time so it is what it is but I'm that close hopefully I can get the bicycle wrapped up and then that way we can start sort of expanding on the game a little bit more so when future updates do come through at least this way we can um, you know grow with the game I guess at the same time so anyway um, so let's see what Jewel has to say about this uh, picture here um, okay yep she was running hiding in a dark basement uh, she feels scared she was crying for help but nobody showed up right and oh here we go he's going to go in his little uh, possessive state i guess uh, another dream please don't make me go there okay so find lucas fourth recording in the warehouse okay so it's gonna tell make us go back in the warehouse which i wasn't really intending to go in there but now that we've obviously got no choice um yeah it's gonna have to happen so what i'm gonna do is all right, I've got a quite quite a bit of bandages. I do need to get some clothing. Um, so we've actually got access now to all of this. What is that? Uh, linen. Okay. So I'm going to need some of that over time. Um, well, I've got. I know I've got some of that. I've got that. So let's just craft up the boots for the minute. I'm going to craft up that as well and um, okay we've got enemies at the shelter here so let's just quickly check because i know i've got some of the clothing back at the um uh back at the warehouse but i don't know if i want to use those straight up um actually let's just cycle through that and let's just go deal with you I don't have much heals either to go in there and actually, yeah. Um, I'll just, just take some of those. I'll eat some of that just to get my heal up. Um, let's take a bit of a peek. Let's just equip that. I'm going to have to leave some of this behind anyway. Oop. Okay. Well, I might leave this pipe behind as well because I'm going to repair it and upgrade it. I actually finished off the, um, uh, the repairs bench. So, some... You might find I've got uh, a few broken items in there as well, so that's a whole by design, of course. Um, so especially if I want to do the besieged event um, warehouse in future as well, or any other sort of hard levels, I can uh, repair some of these broken items, get them improved. We've got the trader now, 
Um, you know what? I want to go to the trader and I want to go grab some of those boxes as well. So that's another thing I want to do. So before I do, I may as well run back in the warehouse, grab the, the script or the shopping list, I, I like to sort of call it. So let's go do that. And what do you require before I go? Let's have a read. Okay, so vodka, beer and tobacco, which is pretty standard. Actually, what was there before? Um, Okay. Quality planks, jewelry. Because I've sort of gotten a better reputation now, the, the list sort of extends as well, which is good. Um, trade union chest. So it's asking a lot for a little bit more vodka and jewelry. I don't know if I've got a lot of vodka, so I'm gonna have to double check that. Um, okay. Do I have any of the stuff? I'll take the beer. It's not there. So I've got some jewelry. But I'm not too sure how much vodka I've got. That's gonna be interesting. Uh, vodka, vodka, vodka. And I'm sort of looking out for, there we go. Uh, tobacco. Okay, so let's quickly read the list again. Uh, so we need three vodka quality planks 14 and jewelry five well i've got all the jewelry that i need i think it's the planks that i don't have at the moment and i might be able to grab those actually have i crafted any i have not okay yep so i'll, I'll definitely need some wood i'm not probably not going to be able to get all the chests, but I might take a couple, um, I might take two of, out of the three, which is fine. Um, well, I can't go to the engineers just yet, but where's the trader? All right, so let's run over to the trader real quick. Okay, and let's see if there, if I can actually get um, two of those chests. I think I can, so. Okay. Alright, so let's exchange all that for you. Let's exchange that for you. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm missing out on that. So, as much as I would love to get that, I don't think I'm going to have the time to get it. And because I don't have any planes, I don't think I have anything in here either. Uh, to be honest should be very lucky if I did to be honest with you nope I don't okay so that's fine so look two out of three not bad two chests just sort of gonna increase that inventory so I might even just make it a next video kind of thing that will do a little bit of an unboxing and uh, yeah and we'll probably head into the warehouse after I've just stopped by home Alright, so let us go in here. And if I go backwards, let's see. So pretty much I'm just sort of hoarding everything at the same time. Uh, let's just pop that there and there. And we'll throw you in here for now. And I'll just throw these two in here for now. Oops. So I'm not going to need that on here. Alright. Cool. Alright, so I didn't really want it to go into the warehouse again, but that's what the quest line wants. So that's what the quest line is going to get. My concern is um, overall health and heals, especially if the, um, the card effects start coming out to play, it's going to pose a problem for me. So as you can see, I've got that warning again that I need better um, uh, combat, uh, sorry, combat ability, so weapons, um, clothing and all that sort of stuff. So 
but as as it's already been made mentioned as well i don't you don't really need to abide by those i mean it's all it's a recommended recommendation which is good um i think you know it's good of the game for them to actually do that and okay so let's start equipping that let's do that to open and okay so right now just gonna take that with me just take a drink of that just in case so I really didn't pay attention to my um, uh, my health status but that's fine and let's just use these guys up not to say that it's going to do a massive world of help but that's fine. Okay. And I think I might just leave that behind as well. Put that there, put that there. Alright, so we're going to find the fourth um, recording in the warehouse. So wherever that might be. If we get lucky, I might even find the last two bolts that I need as well. Which is really, really good as well. So I really want that to... Um, happen. Uh, okay, so quest. Alright, so I don't know how far into the warehouse that we're going to need to do actually. Let's speak to Luca. Uh, sorry, Klim first. Um, he's in somewhere. Oh, okay. Alright, so yeah, as you can see, these guys have just sort of been slightly buffed up with their um, health and attack. I'm not too sure about attack, but I think more or less just health. Keep hitting you. But having a better weapon like this does obviously make life a lot easier on us. So we just rip through these and then you've got the claw here. Let's run away. Okay, and alright. What do you have? Do you have my key? You do have my key, thank you very much. Let's just slice, slice, slice. And I might as well just quickly eat up on these and heal up. Now, did we miss anything or did we go past anything? I'm not too sure. Um, no. We still haven't cleared this area up. Okay. So the way that I saw it going, looking back to the beginning of the video, what I was explaining about, um, you know, finding the bolts and things like that. Now, if you don't find them in this, oops, run, run, run. Um, so if, there's a chest up here, and if you open up the chest, if you don't find the bolt or a bolt or anything like that, you should go to the next locked uh, room and use the key there and I think that's where you you have that ability to find um, well see seeing that there's nothing here I don't trust it and I'm not going to go here to open it up so I might may as well go over here again it's always a game of chance but ooh, did I just get two keys hang on I just got two keys didn't I hang on hang on Oops. I am pretty sure I've got two keys now. Items. Yeah, I've got two keys. Well, <laughs> you know what? Let's just open both of them then. So, key number one. Thank you. And... That always, this guy always comes. Thank you. And, okay, if we get lucky, then great. <laughs> Alright, okay, so we've got one bowl, which is good, so let's just go ahead and take all. Um, just, I've got to stay focused here and make sure that I'm healing up because I definitely, there's going to be a carnifex for sure sometime soon. And I really don't want to deal with them. Alright, come here guys. Okay, so... Let's just open that. 
in here. No. Okay. And if we're lucky, no. That's fine. So I'm guessing we are sort of going a little bit further in. And I just heard the sound and it's the card effects. Yes, you are. Actually, you know what? It is probably not the best thing to do, but you may as well die and rather than um, healing yourself up continuously because it's just a waste of resources, to be honest with you. So you can run back and obviously just claim your stuff and then you just sort of go again. What I sort of like to do is, is do what I've just done, is pretty much run back um, at, the, uh, sorry, at the base of the, the basement and then um, more or less grab my stuff, run back out and then just sort of get myself organized and then go back in and then face that card fix. And that's basically the way that I'm sort of going to do it. So, but um, now that we've sort of awoken this guy and the type of weapons that I do have, it's going to be a little bit more on the, there we go. So just grab all that and then regroup, run back out because you don't get the opportunity to um, uh, go back to the uh, to the outside so you pretty much go all automatically back in so you're gonna have to be very very careful with that um, okay so oops so I've already equipped that and it's probably a good time to just grab some items here um, what does this do I might actually end up using it first at least I've got that that's safe now which is good um, put that away, put that away. Alright, I think that's going to be fine for now. Alright, so I'm ready to go. We'll face the card effects and then we'll just sort of try and make our way through as quick as possible. And hopefully, um, yeah, we should be fine. Um, do I want to use this? I don't know. Oh, he's coming anyway, so. Okay, this actually does nothing whatsoever for me. Well, sort of. Oh, okay. You're not bad. <laughs> You're not bad at all. Okay, cool. So I'm back on the weapon that I need. Let's just grab some of that. And so far, I have not found um, the his fourth recording. So, like I said, it's definitely going to be further in here somewhere. And what I'm hoping is that I can find the uh, the next bolt as well, and then don't have to bother with this anymore for a little bit. That's what I'm hoping for. Perfect. Just eat up a bunch of that. Okay. And I've just noticed that I've lost some uh, durability. Okay. So, decent amount of heals. I'm going to quickly just duck out two seconds here. Because I've just realized I've lost pants. So, I'm going to have to re equip that. Um, there we go, equip, and what can I drop off here whilst I am here? I don't need any, any of that. Grab that, because I know I'm going to definitely need it. Um, let's see, remove that. I probably should just remove that, to be honest. Okay, so they're my good ones. They're my okay ones. All right. So let's equip those for the minute. Use that to heal. 
and oops, should have just done that. <laughs> and heal up another time with that, another time with that, and okay. All right, we're good to go. Lock and load. Actually, what I really want to find out is the frequency in the um, the Carnifex here. How often do they um, respawn? Well, you know, how much time do you have before they respawn again? I think it's probably a better question. Um, all right, so come here, you. So let's just man these claws they do get annoying okay and I'm just gonna use that to heal so yeah I can use well I've got two keys which is great and I'm going to well I was going to I was definitely going to I won't be now um you just get the double whammy here. Alright, so let's... Again, let's regroup and hopefully the it's just the card effects that comes and not the tagger. Uh, so let's just heal up with that. And have I got the right weapon? I do. Okay. Alright, let's see how we go. i tell you what, just as well I got this gun, really came in at a good time, and plus I think I should be able to repair this as well. So let's just do our best with this before the effect comes through. So he will be making his way, there he is. So as you can see, he does do quite a bit of damage. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Okay. And this is just a running gun now. Alright, got the level up to it at the same time. Gosh, you, you really don't know until... <laughs> It all happens, you just sort of make that call. But I don't know if I'll be able to do that for much longer. Alright, so I'm just gonna run over the dead body here. Hold on, okay. So, so that looks like where it is. Oh, so it's actually in here. Oh, cool. Alright, alright, good, good, good. I want to go open up that chest while I'm here. And unfortunately, I, oh no. Okay. All right, so this is not good. Let's just get rid of that. Let's take that. Get rid of that. I'll take that. And what do I have here? Let's just eat that and take that because I definitely want to take that. Okay. So... I've only been able to get one bolt, and I'm guessing it's either going to be in here. I'm going to have to go back into this a little bit later and, yeah, find it. But yeah, I'm basically now one bolt away from not having to come through here every day to, um, yeah, get all the bolts for the bicycle. So that's basically where it's at. But now that we've got that information, Hopefully we can just go back to Klim and he'll let us know what's going on and where we need to go from here on out. Um, oh, so we're going to find the fifth? Oh no, we haven't found it. Oh my goodness. Okay. I thought that was it for some reason. I don't know why I thought that. Right. Okay, well, this is going to be interesting. 
gonna have to go back in there, aren't I? Something I really didn't want to do, did I? Okay. So I'm guessing it's gonna be in the back room, yeah. Okie dokie. Um, you know what, I think I might just take a quick run back home. Yes, the video is going a little bit longer. I think um, it's been a while since I've been doing long videos. So at the moment we've just clicked over the 30, the 30 minute mark. So some of you guys enjoy it. I'm not too sure how many guys enjoy the longer style videos. It's been a while since I've done them you know, consecutively, so hopefully you guys do enjoy it. Uh, let me know in the comments. If you guys have obviously made it this far, that's, you know, let me know if you did. But um, we'll drop a few things off, so at least what I'm thinking is if I have to quickly open up something and then just take all and run, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically where that's at. Um, and right now I'm just going to try and put away as much as I can uh, without having much luck at this at the moment um, I'll just put that there for now I don't want to use these up just yet so I think I might just put those away the, this other Uzi I'll keep here for now this and this will go away and I think I've got a spot for that just there all right yeah that's gonna be enough all right so let's head back out I'm gonna to have to go back and I'll do the um, the room next to that cage where Luca was well the information of where Luca was I guess and if anything, no my luck, as, as soon as I get there, another card effects will arise, and yeah. Now I think, apparently there's up to three or four of those guys, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah. But, I can remember that I've, well, this is early in game as well, but... I think I had taken out at least over four of those guys at one point, I, I have absolutely no idea, but... Um, what I'm going to do, wash bandages, yeah, I'm going to take those. Wound dressing. Do I take them? I feel like it's probably a bad idea if I do, but... Uh, yeah, alright. Because I think I'm going to need them. So, let's just go ahead and do that. I probably shouldn't be using it, there's probably other higher end game um, battles that I need to sort of worry about rather than using them here and now, but I think I'm going to have to start grinding out and get some better um, healing and actually upgrade my healers table as well so I can actually, you know, craft them so I don't have to worry about them, but I think at this point that's going to have to happen. There he is. Jesus, I knew you would be here. So... Can I heal? Thank you. Oop, then I get out of the way. Jeez, man, he packs a wallop now. And I really don't want to... Start placing these, but all right, cool. So I've got a bit of breathing room now. Alrighty, what do we have over here? Yeah, so this is the room I'm thinking that the rest of Luca, well, the next thing for Luca should be here. I'm hoping, but we'll see. Okay. back up. Doesn't look like it, because there should have been something here. 
And I've got the other bolt. Perfect. Well, that worked out. Oh, who are you? Go away, Tiger. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Well, that was that. Okay. Right. Yeah, I doubt it that they have them in the bodies here or something, but that's fine. Better up. Yeah, yeah. I would suspect now that it has to be in this room here. No, it doesn't look like it. I don't know where his fifth recording is. It's got to be in here. So, where is it? It's not there. Be over here? No. Can I finally go into here? No. Nope. And honestly, there's nothing over here. Am I missing something? I have absolutely no idea. Clem isn't even there. I don't know guys, I think I've spent way too much time on this anyway. So I'm going to have to leave it here, I'm going to have to work it out for myself and um, yeah, hopefully I'll get back to you with that. But otherwise, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this extra long video um, as much as I did. But uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that sort of good stuff. And um, yeah, I'll catch you guys in another video. Take it easy.